Okey-dokey. We have a PB6 throttle. Have controller, motor, everything's set up. Everything's working. Turn power on. And key switch on. This is a simple setup, simple motor, simple controller, nothing complex. Um, gonna hook up my uh, my green wire to my ground and red wire to here, and then I'm gonna turn my switch on and then off. And it just sits there. There's no getting no power. Nothing's happening. Grab my other wire, connect it up. plastic thingies together here. And then I do the throttle again. Open, close. You hear that? Nice good whine. So unhook it, connect it again, and connect <laughs> not gonna connect it quite so aggressively here so just a light connect hit the throttle keeping the throttle open does nothing but when I let it off you hear the whine and then it just fires right up Again, on, off, the line, fires right up. Not sure why it's doing that. It shouldn't do that. Okay, controller, PB6, connect, everything's turned on. If I hold it open, nothing happens. Turn it off, you hook. You hear the whine and then it fires right up and it just like it's just full bore. Um, shouldn't be doing that. It should it should should be having some throttle control here. Right, hook it back up. Turn it off. And it happens again. And I can do this consistently every time. And um, you really shouldn't be doing it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the controller off. I'm going to put a different controller on, and we're going to see if we get the same result. Two separate, two different controllers from two different manufacturers, and we'll see. So I'm going to shut it down, and we're going to come back to this with the other controller and see what happens. Okay, so we're going to put some uh, video on this guy. This is going to be a first power up. The uh, controller that's in here right now is the. Uh, 144 volt 800 amp Kelly controller series running it at 72 volts and got everything hooked up uh, it's a very simple basic hookup got 12 volt power from the auxiliary battery got a, uh, a two pin uh, PB6 uh, throttle pot hookup and um, motor minus uh, battery minus and battery plus motor plus um, I've got a 
a, a circuit breaker, a shunt, um, contactor, and pre-charge. Um, car is pre-charging right now. We've got everything turned on. So I'm going to let it sit for a minute just to be sure before I turn the key on. When I turn the key on, the contactor will go on, and hopefully we won't have any runaway or smoke. Um, the last time I fired this particular Kelly controller up, it was with the MG, and um, five minutes after I hooked it up, before I even put any main power to it, it smoked. Um, sent it back, they sent it back to me fixed with a new uh, power circuit board, which apparently blew, for whatever, God only knows what reason, I don't know. Uh, it's supposed to be an opto-isolated controller, and... Um, we're hoping that the uh, throttle will work. The uh, military um, style motor is being jumpered, um, so it acts more as the, more like a series motor. The um, the field will be uh, the field wires will be limiting um, power to the field, um, not voltage but amperage. I'm sure. And um, so we're going to see, and I'm going to go turn the key on. I'm going to be away from the camera, so hopefully the camera, if it blows, will catch it. This is, by the way, all beta testing here. Okay, got power on. I'm not seeing anything or hearing anything other than what we should be hearing. I have a fault light. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three. Four. Okay, so before I go do anything else, um, I'm getting a fault. Uh, two blanks and then four. So I'm not even going to try and put power to this thing. I'm going to go ahead and just shut it off and I'm going to go take a look, see what I can see what's see what's up. So off with the key. Controller, take it in the house. Okay, we're back again. Uh, I'm going to change the. Uh, it's a throttle issue. I'm going to change the wires, thinking that maybe I have the wrong wires connected up here. So we're going to do that first. I know I got the green. Green is for sure one of them. about the other so let's go ahead and put power let it pre-charge should still be pretty well pre-charged and um, so anyway I'm gonna put a key to it again Runaway. Oh, 
Okay, one more time. Got a different throttle on this. Get a shot here, see what happens. Power on. No smoke. testing in between in between uh, rainstorm bouts not sure if you got that but um, found out that this is just a total piece of crap and uh, needs to be replaced I did however um, find a new throttle pot that has not been installed in the car um, sitting right here and connected it up and uh, lo and behold the motor spins up um, this controller this is the newer Kelly controller the one that crapped out on me when I had the MG Um, they got it fixed to send it back, but uh, down here on the bottom edge, um, it's actually getting pretty warm, pretty quick. Even though there's no heat sink on it, I wouldn't think that just even a minute or two would heat it up quite that much. But I'm guessing the, the MOSFETs are, are mounted on the side of this thing, so we're getting some heat build up here. Um, Motor's running great. That sucker just spin right up. It's got some good power too. And I'm just shunting over on the field all the uh, voltage on this. It's uh, 72 volts, 144 volt controller, 800 amps for this one, and it is working. Um, I'm going to replace the pot and put it in the case put it into this casing and we're going to give it another shot on the road to see how this controller does. See this, this part of the casing even now just after this couple minutes of running um, it was cold is now getting almost too hot to touch. I, I don't know why it's getting that hot, but I will have to put it on a heat sink if we're going to take it on the road. So that'll be another time, another day. Um, for now, this is what I got. That's what I've been doing. Um, the other controller I was messing with probably works fine. I was using this this uh, PV6 pot on it, and it wouldn't work. So I'm going to put it back on later, maybe tomorrow, and see if I can get that controller to work. Uh, so we're doing a beta test for somebody. This motor, this this controller is not a beta controller. This is just a controller, and I uh, just wanted to see if it would work. See how well the motor would run up. Um, these damn motors, these motors get pretty warm pretty quick. And that right there, my friend, on that side, on the bottom side here, is way. That's way too hot for just a couple minutes worth of running. So anyway. Thought I'd show you, and we'll talk to you later. There will be more to come.